And I got into river guiding in the early 1970s, just my 50th year. The whole uh, evolution of being a river guide has changed a lot over the years. Um, when I started professionally in 73, you just basically had to show up. If it, if it looked like you were able to get a boat through the canyon, you could be a guide. And you had to do a few trips and then boom, they'd just send you off. But it, it's gotten more and more and more professional over the years. There's all sorts of training you have to do now. But there's a couple other things. That mainly, you've got to show a, a proclivity for being able to get a boat down the river which is the easy part, but the, uh, the other part is your personality. You've got to uh, get along with folks for a while. You've got to not resent your passengers. You know, you've got to enjoy them. I think my favorite part is, is seeing people get it. You know, um, there's rapids down there that took us 20 years to figure out. You know, when I started, we didn't, nobody knew how to do it very well. And, you know, you make mistakes, make mistakes, find something that works a little bit, try it, try it, try and fine tune it. And now we can teach some of those finer points in a, in a few sentences sometimes. And uh, it's frustrating in a way to see somebody get better than you that quick. But it's also, uh, it's rewarding to know that you're furthering the knowledge and the profession. Almost without fail, everyone who does it feels like it's one of the more amazing things they've ever done in their life. Uh, it is a very powerful experience. Humbling in a way, you start to see how small and insignificant you are.